what it is, what it do. Boss here. You know, I, I, I'm I'm already comfortable, cool, copacetic with the idea of, you know, the fact that they're going to be negative backlash views, there's going to be opposed opinions, there's going to be disagreements, disgruntled people at the words that I say and how I say them or how I use them. But if you don't, if you don't feel it's worth you coming on live when you see me live or it's not worth you seeing a direct comment in in rebuttal or in disagreement to me then I'm making my point public and you're not making yours public say feel however you want in the confines of your own home behind closed doors you know what I mean and if you if you're not subscribed to any of the channels that I ask you to you don't share like uh, or you know provide a difference of opinion then the content falls falls flat it falls dead we can't go back and forth to where you could show me something or teach me something and you only heard what I said and you don't agree with it anyway well you you missed your opportunity to to bring about a different point of view possibly you know you could have been very well in the position to convert my whole thinking and mindset possibly possibly you missed that chance you know what I'm saying you blow your chance you blow your shot oh well you're gonna get a load on you you know you blow long enough it's gonna happen pardon the pun but for somebody to say okay somebody's ignorant or somebody's stupid or you find a word that makes somebody else seems less knowledgeable because you because you harp on learning certain things that don't necessarily mean I'm ignorant of it I may have found no use for it and I know exactly what it is but I don't acknowledge it I don't recognize it I don't give it the benefit of the doubt to to consider it information so as far as I'm concerned it's trash as far as I'm concerned it's just a bunch of bullshit but that ain't information that I want I ain't ignorant of it I just don't regard it as being worth speaking and you do one man's trash is another man's treasure that falls on the lines of information just as well think about that for a second because if you're and and this is this is something that did happen this was in content this is in conversation I wasn't in the conversation but I read it you know somebody who knows about law and knows about laws and knows about legislation to the degree when you can apply it to damn near any circumstance any situation that shit don't apply every time all the time to every situation that means you don't have you don't have the skills to realize there are case-by-case -case basis where your explanation might work in this regard but it may not work in another so who's the ignorant one who's the, it's like in problem solving you can't use one method of solving a problem in every scenario you have to judge it based on okay well this requires this amount of attention or this requires more attention focused on this opposed to that you dig what I'm saying the social situations we talk about with corrupt police when we're talking about um, unjust treatment in law enforcement, um, when we're talking about um, inconsistencies of judicial practice in law and judgment and people being unjustly incarcerated, every situation is going to be different. And if you don't have what it takes to differentiate, you're the one who's being hired without proper qualifications. And somebody missed the ball and hired your ass anyway. That's the and that's the deal. Ahmaud Aubrey versus George Floyd. George Floyd versus Eric Garner. Eric Garner versus Daniel Shaver. Mind you now, you have to think in certain regards because everybody in all those scenarios were not black. I did make I did make mention of a white person. Same thing. Same thing should and should have made a lot of people think about police reform because of the outcomes of these individuals involved in these cases. You know what I'm saying? And you have to think along those lines. Oh, okay, now the the killing involving the taser is not going to be judged upon on the same lines of anybody with common sense enough to realize that wasn't the same thing that happened with Daniel Shaver. The same thing that happened with Daniel Shaver was not the same thing that happened with Trayvon Martin the cops are getting a bad rap all these fucking cops were not just you know judged harshly by the public and then persecuted or not persecuted in the courts of law as it would have you 
the law backed up some of these guys and the law totally disregarded the fact that you know just just due process was performed in others you know so you can't just lump all the cops behind you know one police union chief who's saying we're being treated like shit some of y'all are shit some of y'all ain't shit some of y'all ain't worth a shit but all the cops involved in these cases and other cases can't be judged across the board the same way because those were different instances you know what I'm saying I tell you I, I urge you right now if you had if you had the stomach to sit and watch the entirety of the uh, George Floyd uh, filming try try and look at the glamour the glitz the waste of tax money that they put into Arizona when they shot Daniel Shaver 2016 look at that see it wasn't a big broad spectrum like uh, George Floyd's was like the whole street and you got people over here and the cop cars and people you couldn't see that were involved look at the Daniel Shaver shooting listen how this man was being talked to like a fucking dog the upper hand wasn't necessary because they had guns drawn on him. He was on his knees. He's doing his best to comply. You can hear and see that he's scared. And he obviously don't want to get killed and shot. But he had his doubts based on the way he was being talked to by the officer. Fucking uh, Brailsford. Philip Brailsford. How he talked to that man. I probably, if he didn't have a gun, I'm pretty sure I'd have been not willing to comply. Simply because of the way he's talking to me. Reports had been said and people had said and nosy motherfuckers that say shit about people that they scared to confront had given reports that this guy was holding an air gun, he was sticking it out his window, they're scared of terrorism, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now that's just what they came there thinking. But when they got in the, uh, when they got in the presence of Shaver, draws gun on him, I mean guns drawn on him, he couldn't have done shit. The reports were about a rifle. The motherfucker didn't have a rifle. He ain't had no room to have a rifle. <laughs> you know? He was, he was, they, they got the upper hand on him. They got him. Do this. Get on your knees. Show me your hand. He doing everything. It's like a fucking medieval form of fucking Simon Says or fucking uh, Hokey Pokey or something. Arms out. Boom. Arms up. Uh. Interlace your hand. Boom. Everything they were saying until they finally got him to where he couldn't do something right or fast enough or comprehend what they were yelling and saying to him enough to where they just unloaded on him. Five shots. Not to disarm him, not to, you know, incapacitate him, not to, you know, get the drone on him to where they could subdue him. Nope, just straight up five shots. He's on his knees. Center mass is, <laughs> it looks like what center mass is on the target. From the head down to his waist and he's on his knees. Hell, you go, you going to kill him. Ain't no way that you could possibly shoot him and disable him at this point because you've disabled over half of his torso. And you are drawn on him. And you have warned him. And you have told him. And he ain't being a badass saying like, yeah, whatever, pig. Yeah, fuck you, cop. No, he's like, I don't okay, okay. Hands up. Yes, sir. Arms out. Right, sir. And this dude, Philip Brailsford, is just getting off on it. I'm pretty sure when they fucking came and had him questioned, he had a big wet spot in the front of his fucking tacky khakis. As to how he barked orders at this man till he confused him enough to shoot him. And he got acquitted. But flip the script, man. You think I want racist police on the Arizona police force? White guys getting, killing blacks? Blacks killing whites? Latinos killing Mexicans? Mexicans killing Filipinos? Hell no! Hell no! The people, the persons who are being employed, are being employed with an already given agenda and it's to oppress shoot kill and do wrong by a certain race of people or all races of people if they ain't their race of people these groups have intertwined in our legal system and they're at all levels and we ain't picking them motherfuckers apart fast enough so not only are they arresting our people unjustly they're prosecuting them unjustly either at the DA's level or they're a judge already or they're the chief of police or the sheriff of a county hell some of the motherfuckers is the warden of the jail all levels of these people have been intertwined and blended into the fabric of what should be what protects us as people and they are not 
So we have to get that. You got to disregard the color and say, well, you don't know enough about the law. Well, I know enough about being a fucking human and you're ignorant if you're not and you're ignorant if you don't. Because if you can't regard me as a man and feel some sympathy that way, how can you do the same as a, as a cop?